Okay, y'all, I don't know if you're ready for this, but we have a new huge release for a Breezy Organization, and it is a brand new planner release, and it was much, much requested. Um, I personally did not think that I would use this personally um, with my lifestyle. I thought I would just use a life planner that I have been using, but now I am totally torn. So this new life planner is a portrait life planner. Now this has been highly, highly requested. We are wanting to come out with a couple more themes with this one, um, but we decided to go not as much pink, but more farmhousey with this planner. We picked out some, um, I don't know if you guys are huge Fixer Upper Joanna Gaines fans. I am. These are a couple of her colors that she really, really likes. So I um, integrated those into the planner and I am so excited about this. Like I love this way more than what I thought I would. So I'm super excited to show you this. This the layouts are different because as you know, with a landscape planner, when you have two pages, um, the uh, proportions, everything that you're working with is totally different. So I had to actually redesign most every page that was in the life planner into this planner a different way. Well, now that I've been using the life planner for several months now, I have noticed that there are some things that I could actually make better to fit my lifestyle. And so I kind of integrated some of those things in here and Y'all, I am totally obsessed, so I cannot wait to show you this today. We do have this available undated and dated today, Monday and Sunday start. Um, those are on the um, our Etsy and on our website. They're live. You can purchase them right now. We're hoping to come out with a minimalist style that's going to be the same exact minimalist style as the other planner, except... I mean, you know, with the covers and the colors, obviously it's going to be this layout. And then we also are wanting to come out with a couple more things. Now, the second thing with this is I don't know if you are a huge daily planner. So this planner is not yet available in daily. We are working on it, but this one is just a weekly and monthly life planner. So I like offering this for a couple different reasons. I've had several customers to say they do not use daily. Adding all the days and all the links, it just takes so much more time. So I thought I would go ahead and put out a weekly and monthly. I try to do daily, but if I'm being completely transparent, I can actually, I almost like planning better on a weekly. Like I look at it every day. I mess with it every day, but I don't do a whole page of design every day. I plan out my top three, um, just different things like that. And I do that on the weekly spreads instead of the daily anyways. So anyways, I don't want to just go on and on and on, but this is a weekly and monthly version. So we're calling this the weekly life planner. And then after that, it will say farmhouse because that is the theme for this one. Um, so all of the weekly life planners will be the same. They'll just be different themes at the end. So, um, um, we do have a weekly, different weekly layout for this one and a few other little tweaks. So I'm super excited to get into this today to show you. Um, leave a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you're new here, welcome. We talk about all things digital planning and productivity. If that sounds like something you could benefit from, be sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell to be notified. We do upload weekly and sometimes more often than that. So this is the cover. It is a beautiful buffalo plaid kind of watermarked cover. Absolutely love it. Um, it says life planner. And then over here at the top, we have January through December. Over here on the side, we have one through eight, which is the same as the one through five tab is on a life planner, except you have eight different sections to name and use with however you would like. And along the bottom here, we have a darker version of the color. This is home and your vision board, goals, notes, stickers, widgets, index, and overview. So let's go ahead and walk through a couple of th these things real quick. So if we hit on May, this is what your overview page is going to look like. And I absolutely love it. It incorporates everything that we had in the other life planner, um, except it took away a horizontal widget spot because we don't offer quite as many horizontal widgets as we do, um, a vertical portrait. And so, um, it being that there's not a lot that actually would fit on the overview page anyways. So we just went ahead and took that out and we have spots for the portrait here. We have a spot for you to put your three goals, what you're grateful for, and then we added something which is called favorite. This could be a favorite quote for the month. It could be a favorite sticker. It could be a favorite color. It could be um, a favorite food or what you wore, uh, what you watched, what you read. You could just put anything in there. It's kind of a, I like the idea of keeping track of some memories within your planner, and I think it makes it a lot more fun. So I added that. It could be a favorite photo. I mean, it could just be many, many different things. Of course, you have finance, notes, and vision, which did change up a little bit. I'm going to show you the insides of those in a minute. We have another focus section like before. It's just a little bit shorter and special dates over here. Okay, now on all of our overview pages, you can get to the monthly spread by clicking the name of the month here. So this 
this is going to take us to our monthly spread. Again, these days are not clickable because it's not a daily planner. It is just a weekly planner. So your um, weeks over here are clickable and they are numbered one through 52. So you know um, which week number you are on. Again, quick links to the finance notes and vision board, a top three and that horizontal widget spot down here which can also be for notes or pictures or whatever you would like. It doesn't have to be for a widget. So this one is dated. We do have dated and undated. This is a Sunday start. We do have a Monday start as well. Um, now getting into what the weekly overview looks like. I absolutely, absolutely love this weekly layout. It works for me in so many ways. And I'm going to get into that uh, here in a little bit, but we have our seven days up here with the numbers. And then down here, it says create a life you can't wait to like, wake up to, which is just like my... I love that. That's like my favorite, favorite quote of all time. And then it has four spots here for widgets or pictures or notes or all the things, which I'm a widget girl. So I, I absolutely love this. Um, and then again, your shortcuts up here at the top. So that explains the January through December. I'll show you some planning pages that I've already done to kind of give you a feel of the planner. And then over here, one through eight, these are blank. So let's go to five because I don't have anything on five. So this is completely blank. You can do whatever you want with it. I'll show you a couple of my versions. This is one with using widgets. So I'm going to show you how you can create these backgrounds and do this grid and do a whole widget page, which I mean, Oh, I love it. I just love it. I love the looks of the widgets. I think it's fun and it just makes your planner so much more fun than just planning the day-to-day -day stuff. So this is my all things travel because if you know me at all, you know that I absolutely love to travel. So I keep track of like, where's the next place that we want to go? What's going to be the travel budget for the transportation, accommodation, food, and entertainment, the total, how much that total is going to be goes up here. Then I fill up this jar and you know, all the things super, super fun. So like I said, these pages are blank and then you can go and either make a widget page, you can go and just do your own thing, or you have one more option and that is using our inserts. Now our inserts are not under the life planner tab. They're under the customizable planner, which was the planner we came out before the life planner. Uh, the customizable planner is perfect if you truly want to pick out your own weekly layout, your own daily layout, and you want to insert those pictures every single day. It's a lot more hands-on, a lot more work to get up and running. Um, if that's more what you're into, you could definitely check that out. But all of our customizable inserts also work in this planner on the full page spreads. You'll notice there's a little bit more white on the sides of this one. That's because I went ahead and add tabs down at the bottom. So it changed the proportions, but that doesn't bother me. But just FYI, if that's something that, um, concerns you or bothers you, just so you know, this is a spring cleaning checklist, which is available on our site as well, along with tons of other inserts that you can use. All of our inserts come with colored and black and white. So if you don't want to use a colored, this is, I say black and white, it's actually gray. Gray obviously is going to match any planner that you have. Um, so that is a look at using a full, full page insert. Again, you have eight different pages to track whatever you want. If you're a teacher, if you want to track cleaning, if you want to track finances in a bigger way, if you um, own a real estate um, business, if you um, own a business, if you just whatever you want these eight things to be, it, think of them as like eight different planners, except it's an all in one concept. Okay. And then down here at the bottom, let's talk about this we have um this closes the book the little home and then we have this little um picture which is actually a vision board for the whole year so this is an easy access tab um you also have a vision board notes and finances under each month this is separate it's easy to get to we have a goals page which i absolutely love you can put pictures or notes here your steps to get it done check off when you're done and then you can check your progress and then you have a notes page which i actually already have a lot of stuff written down on it so i'm going to show you a different notes page here in a minute but that's going to be your yearly notes page and then you have stickers. You got a full page of stickers that come with the planner along with these block scheduling, which I love. Uh, you can use these for so many different things. And that's my son in the background. And then the scissors, um, the widgets, um, it's what the, makes the planner just amazing. So you have portrait widgets in horizontal. You have four and then two more horizontal down here. Your index is the same as a life planner. You got shortcuts to get to any of the month's finance notes or vision board pages without having to go to overview and then click on another one. This is an easy uh, couple click thing. Uh, a secret passwords here takes you to be able to track all of your passwords, website, username, email, and password. And you can duplicate these to add more. And then over here, you can name what you want your eight tabs to be. And all of these are clickable. So this is going to take you to that cleaning one. So if you forget, oh my goodness, which one did I use for this? If you're ever forgetting, you'd be like, okay, that's exactly what I have planned for there. Um, my reason why gives you a place to put pictures of your kiddos or just 
your reason why, what inspires you to do life and wake up every day. I love having that spot. And then overview. So this just has January through December. You can put down people's anniversaries, dates, just significant things. You can do goals. Um, you can use this for a lot of different um, ways as well. Let's go back to May and I'm going to show you our notes page. We have actually four sections. I had noticed in the old notes pages, sometimes I was getting chaotic with keeping up with sections and so this gives you four different sections and you can duplicate these as well um, and that's what this yearly notes page looks like as well you can put a header here like a title and then put all of your notes there and then we have our vision board which is blank it does not say vision board so you could use this for whatever you would like there's so many options um, you could also use inserts or widgets on this page as well and then our finance page so we changed up our finance page because number one the other one was really big and it wasn't going to allow us a spot to use widgets and number two I just felt like it was overkill and I felt like some of my customers felt like it was a little overkill too and a lot of them were covering up what was on the finance page to work more for them and I don't want that. I want you to be able to just use the planner as is. So I did a basic, just so, so basic um, income, fixed expenses, variable expenses, subtotals for each of those and then your balance, just a basic, basic month finance thing. And you could even use this as week one income, week two income. Like you don't just have to write down the income for the whole month, however you want to track it. And then this can be for notes or whatever over here. But what really makes it great are these four things here, because I have budget and financing widgets, two different packs, one finance and one budget. You can track savings, you can track debt, you can track uh, how to save a thousand dollars in so many days or months. You can track, um, you know, vacation savings jars. You can uh, track your bills. We have so many options, even weekly check-ins, how you're spending on your categories, your sinking funds, so many options for you to really customize this and make this planner work for you because that's what this planner is about. It's about productivity. It's about getting your life easier for you and more fun. I'm all about that. All about that fun. <laughs> um, okay, so that is a general overview of everything that we have here. Um, if you're new to our um, business and you don't know about the widgets and the inserts, I have so many videos explaining to you about that, but I do want to show you a couple of our pages. Um, this was our January overview page. And then if you click on January, this um, I just took my plans, my designs that I already done in my life planner and copied and pasted them over here. I had to tweak just a few things, but it wasn't that hard to copy and paste those over here. Our February spread, which was super, super cute. I loved all the stickers. For February, you can already see some of the things that I have filling in and how I'm going to be tracking some things. So I am super, super excited about this planner. I hope that you are too. Okay, so here's a look at the weekly spread that I've done so far. It was super, super fun doing this. There are so many options with this layout and that's what I absolutely love. So as you can see, the planner comes with these tall, skinny columns, and you can divide them up however you want or keep them the same if you want. Um, so what I did is I made three sections. I did this by going and grabbing some of the transparent uh, block stickers that come with your planner, and I stretched them out here, um, and then I just made me three sections. So here's my focus three. Here's things that I do in the afternoon and things that I have to do in the morning, and I just put little dots by them to check off. Uh, so again, you could make these split up by more or less. You you could do morning, evening, um, morning, afternoon, evening. You could do your menu planning on one and your to-do list on another and maybe your appointments on another um, or work, personal. I mean, the options um, are absolutely limitless on how you can kind of divide this up and make it work for you. And then down here at the bottom, I absolutely love having four options for our widgets. Um, that was one of my problems in the old planner. I didn't really do the daily that much. I did more the weekly and I didn't have enough spots for all the fun widgets that I wanted to use. Um, so down here, obviously you can always use these just to write in, put stickers, pictures, so you can always use that option instead of just using widgets, but widgets make it a lot more fun um, in my opinion. And then down here, this is kind of what I did for this week. So I put my menu down here. I put some memory keeping here. Um, celebrate this week. Uh, I believe this is in the I want to say the weight loss kit widget pack. And then over here I did the habit tracking and I listed the habits and then I just have been coloring in the days that I accomplished those. And then I wrote down some goals here. So these are going to switch up. A couple of these will switch up for me every week um, because it's just fun to change it up on what you plan. Um, but that is a look at how stinking cute this planner can be. Uh, I think I went into a little more detail on some of the other pages. I'll have uh, plan with me's coming up and show you more of a deep dive on how I am using the planner. But I definitely wanted to give 
give you that overview look to show you this blocked off section because I know I've had several customers um, want this to be able to put maybe their husband's name, their name, and their kid's name on things that they needed to do or what their schedule looked like for that day. And so it just gives you so many different options there. Also, be watching for next Sunday's video. We have another new release that's coming out that I'm super, super excited about, and I think that you will be too. And we actually have two more in the works. I don't know if I'll release two new things next Sunday or if I'm going to space them out, but you definitely, definitely want to be catching our next videos because we have lots of new fun goodies coming to you. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those down in the comments. Email me on Etsy or my site or Instagram. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Again, if you want to know about some upcoming releases or give feedback, uh, Instagram is the place to be. We are on TikTok as well and we give all kinds of tips and tricks on there. So thank you so much for watching. We will catch you on the next one and we hope you love this planner as much as we do. Catch you on the next one.